Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to my video on pivot point trading. Not a day goes past when I don't receive an email or a phone call or ask a question by my students and clients about trading pivot points. And quite often if you listen and watch my videos on a regular basis, you'll see I talk about pivot point bounces, etc. on a regular basis. So this video is to really go in depth to a degree on how to trade pivot points and a few things that you really need to know about pivot point trading. Now, as always, one of the risks is of course information overload. Now, pivot point trading or learning uh, about pivots isn't critical, but it certainly helps in your trading. And as I say on a regular basis, after a period of time, uh, you have what I call aha moments. Aha, that's how it works. Now I see how that works. So uh, I suppose what I'm trying to say here is be patient with yourself. So I'm also going to go to the charts. So I'll show you, uh, we'll look at the ES, we'll look at uh, perhaps a Forex market, and we'll have a look, of course, one of my favorite markets, CNQ, and we'll just see how pivots relate and how you can trade those with those markets. Now, if you haven't already done so, please go to full screen as very soon we will be looking at some charts. Of course, I need to mention the risk. There's always a risk in trading. Please feel free to uh, halt the video and to read the disclaimer in detail. Now, if you haven't already done so, if you're not already a student, you can actually invest and purchase for $197 my top 12 day trading and swing trading strategies. Traders, trading is my passion. I love trading. It's what I do. I'm a full-time day trader, uh, trader success coach, and consultant of the funds management industry. I love trading. And I think you probably picked that up from my videos. Is I train because it keeps me razor sharp. And actually, it's a question I probably have every day, uh, particularly from students that watch me trade live. They say to me, why don't you just trade full time? Why do you teach? Well, the old saying is, he who teaches learns twice. When you've got a student looking over your shoulder as you're trading live, let me tell you, it really can make sure, it really <laughs> keeps you on the straight and narrow as far as making sure that you follow your trading rules. So my trading results have gone through the roof. That is, they're much, much better. I'm much more disciplined. And I love the interaction with you, the trader. Whether you're new or experienced, my course will fast track your career. Don't go and spend thousands of dollars and waste months of time. And also, don't go and lose your trading account. That is, stop trading live. If you're not making money, stop invest a little bit of money get this invest time in learning how to trade correctly because it'll just fast track your career so that's the end of the advertisement let's get in and talk about pivots so you may have heard this saying before there are bold traders and there are old traders but there's no old bold traders the reason i bring that up is that uh, i'm in my 50s now is i'm becoming well, I'm, I classify myself as fairly conservative, but I'm a day trader, which means I'm willing to take a calculated risk. And risk is all about really knowing the probabilities. So I know my probabilities. So some of the experienced traders watching this video may say, well, look, I'm willing to jump in earlier. I'm willing to uh, have a sell limit order or a buy limit order right at the pivot. And there are lots of traders that do that. I'm going to be showing you a more conservative method uh, in trading pivots that works for me. And really, you know, as I say regularly, is get rich slowly. This is not about getting rich overnight, but trading pivots can be a great way uh, of, of adding profitable trades or improving your trades. Now, thanks to technology today, when it comes to pivot trading, virtually every trading package now you it comes with a a program that will automatically cal uh, calculate floor pivots and plot them on your screen where the old way you still have to do it manually and we're going to get into the formulas in a moment uh, but virtually every trading package now has pivots in it 
floor trader pivots now we're going to talk briefly in a moment also about Fibonacci pivots Fibonacci pivots are totally different than standard Fibonacci retracements etc but we'll come to that in a moment so what is very very important though when it comes to trading pivots is because of the way the calculations work on the open high low and close is you've got to consider the time zone that you live in around the world so uh, so you really need to check that out now I'll be showing you two ways that I do it on my charting package and I use a program called TradeStation and I've actually purchased a set of pivots from Roy Kelly so I use a slightly different set of pivots uh, what they do I just give me and I'll show you in a moment anyway we'll, we'll have a look at it on the screen so uh, floor pivots uh, if your charting package doesn't already have them if you go onto one of your trading forums that is or, or Google it virtually you can purchase uh, uh, floor pivots for every trade for every charting package there is now and for a lot of them you get them free that is you go on the forum somebody's already coded it and they'll pass it on to you it's just really it's a wonderful thing about the internet today so virtually so just recapping what I just said there um, uh, different time zones we're gonna have a close look at because that can really affect the calculations and how they actually work now we can see on this slide I've got on the screen you can see the dotted lines and what we've got here is various types of pivot points where price supports and resistance and that's really what they do and so we can see here on another one this is on the yes uh, this is on the on the five range is you can see the pivot points and you can see here and we'll look at this on a live screen in a moment how we bounce from one pivot to another so what exactly are floor pivots well floor pivots were put together many years ago by the traditional floor traders and floor pivots are the most popular pivots used in Forex and futures trading originally used as I mentioned by floor traders they're calculated in advance so you can really call them and this is so true about pivot trading is it's a um, very much a leading indicator because unlike a lagging indicator where it's a moving average which is plotting on the the, the past on history the floor pivots is plotting in advance so it's very very much telling you in advance where prices are likely to bounce and we'll see that in a moment and so as I mentioned it's really an invaluable uh, uh, tool to have in your arsenal of trading now you can see the calculations there on the right and what we're looking at and you can see the black here the PP that's a primary pivot when we trade above the primary pivot pivot usually that's telling us what we're probably going to be we've got a bias to the long side now what you can have is trading in an oscillating market that is where uh, you're in a consolidating market or you're in a trading range and you'll quite often see as you will see in a moment on the screen you'll see that we bounce in between pivots now a lot of traders wonder why quite often the market stops at a certain point well quite often of course it could be support and resistance from a previous high or low and many many times if they don't have floor pivots on their screen they're bouncing around a floor pivot area however floor pivots are still just a tool we've got to remember that now support and resistance and we see on the bottom a bottom comment here support and resistant levels um, uh, one to three act as targets reversal points and some traders calculate as many as 10 support resistance areas meaning that there's 20 different lines they may have on their chart now in a very fast moving very active market they'll trade those now uh, we're just going to concentrate on the main pivots today uh, the other thing we're going to consider here is uh, which is very very important is the weekly and the monthly pivots now weekly and monthly pivots can have a major impact on the market as well I'll show you some examples of that also live on the charts so let me just move down so you've got your standard floor pivots and then you've got Fibonacci pivots so it's a total different program uh, than your floor pivots and as I also mentioned Fibonacci pivots are very very different than your Fibonacci retracements or extensions 
now you need to buy a specifically coded program or indicator for doing Fibonacci pivots now personally I don't use them uh, uh, from for my day-to-day -day trading however I have some traders some students that use Fibonacci uh, pivots very very successfully so it might be something that you want to explore now uh, let me just go back and I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record at times but remember master your t1 t2 and t10 trades before you move on to any of these okay so very very important I don't want to be throwing you too much information or getting you to jump from one thing to another now the calculation on the right hand side you can see here you can see you've got the standard floor pivot calculations but then they're adding adding fib calculations into it so I'm no mathematician I'm not going to run you through the mathematical equations for that uh, but you can see on the right hand side and if you want to google it and find out more you can but Fibonacci pivots for Forex traders has been very successful so if we look at these daily floor pivots which were calculated by the pit traders of course in most markets now most trading is now um, uh, carried out by uh, computers and you've got a trader there however floor pivots are still very very respected and if we look at this one here this is trading the e-mini and this is on the five minute now remember floor pivots because you're working on calculations of open high low and close etc uh, they work on all time frames all markets whether you're trading minute charts range tick Renko the calculation still is the same and what we can see here we can see of the primary pivot we've gone up we bounce off that we come down we bounce off the s1 we've come back down and you'll hear me talk regularly about profit targets for an example a normal logical profit target or at least to have a trailing stop behind it here is a bounce off your s1 heading back up to your primary pivot now what you do find though is of course you get a lot of false bounces in a strong trending market so if you've got a market that's really shorting it's falling uh, to the downside uh, you quite often you'll get a bounce off a pivot but then it'll continue through it'll come back up and I'll show you some examples of that then continue likewise when you're above the pivot so here up to at least this time we had a short bias in the market and when you're above the primary pivot quite often then it will give you a long bias in the market now we can see some examples here before we go to the live trade so this is just another uh, PowerPoint slide here we can see how we're bouncing off these pivots so we can see our bias here on this particular day is to the downside so you can see we've come down we've bounced off there bounced again gone up and then we've broken through we've come up we've retested that it's it's support down here it's broken through that becomes resistance now this is where my conservative nature comes into it and I use additional indicators to confirm a pivot, a pivot bounce and this is where you'll have a lot of bold traders they'll put for an example a buy limit order now a buy limit is a is an order in advance so we come down we hit that limit, and they're in the market now personally yes pivots are great to trade but quite often you'll go through them and you can get stopped into a trade um, uh, which doesn't just doesn't work out so I prefer to use some other indicators which we'll cover shortly to confirm the trade so we can see here we've broken through we've gone up tested it and away we go so you can see we've got a really short bias in the market here now here we've got an oscillating mark that is where we're in a trading range so we can see our primary pivot here we've gone up we've tested it fallen gone up tested it again we formed a little double top here then we've broken come down and we've bounced off the s1 now from your primary pivots your s1 and your s2 are your most accurate ones if you're going to go down and test those or go through those likewise your r1 and r2 and this is where it comes back that you're going to need to do some homework that is before you start trading pivots you really want to be watching them for a good two or three weeks and getting a general idea of how to trade them 
so I'm giving you a good overview but one thing I can't give you in this particular session of course is the what I call the screen time that you need to gain to trade these correctly so let me give you some strategies here so pivot points use them as support and resistance so of course you've got your swing highs and swing lows you're going to form points of support and resistance then of course you've got as I'm talking about here is your pivot points now in some cases a trader uses the pivot points as an entry point when a price is able to break through the pivot now a lot of traders they when they see price break through they'll automatically jump in and say if we're to the long side they'll buy but what you'll see time and time again as we're about to have a look at you'll see the market will will basically it's almost like a uh, a bull or a bear trap it gets some caught in then it reverses so there's a, a couple little techniques I want to show you here so the candle close uh, above or below a pivot point is used for trade confirmation that is how most traders use it uh, I like to uh, as you're about to see use additional indicators to confirm the trade yes it means I'm going to get in later and if you look at uh, for an example John Carter he talks about this in his great book he's got a great book called mastering the trade by the way it's just a brilliant book he likes to have a buy stop or, or, or a buy limit order sorry or a sell limit order in the market when he's getting into these trades and what he points out in his book is that for a lot of traders the moves halfway over because they're waiting for additional indicators to confirm well I still prefer the additional indicators and that book by the way was written 10 years ago now I think the markets have also changed a little another thing with pivots it's a self-fulfilling prophecy that is because so many traders around the world use pivots in their trading uh, you're going to get the bounce just from the market psychology we've got there let's see in other cases they um, it's meant to uh, uh, the trader uses that should be I'm missing an R there traders sorry about that the trader uses the pivot point as a rejection for entry into a counter trend trade you'll see that in both cases needs to use momentum indicators for, for confirmation which we'll have a look at now the weekly and the monthly pivots will have a look at that and we bounce off those and if anything at times they can even be stronger for being resistance or support so let's move on to the next slide here and a couple of points before I go to the charts and it's this the essence of day trading the pivot lies in going long when the market violates the pivot in a bull rally and going short when the market violates a pivot in a bear break or a downward move so your primary pivot if you are under that there's a good chance and it's giving you that the market's going to keep dropping for a period of time so it's giving you a bias to the downside however in most cases we're going to wait for a pullback a retracement before we enter and I will show you that now I also like to use as I've already mentioned the rule of multiple techniques now this is covered extensively in a, in a great book written back in 82 techniques of a professional commodity chart analyst page 3 is that what he quotes is this really just as in real estate location 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 in trading I like to verify 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 now what that book talks about or what's what's written in that book is that if you have a, an indicator if it's a good indicator that say gives you a, a, a market advantage of 10% if you have multiple indicators that are each giving you that, that are totally different that is you don't want to have them all as momentum indicators they're basically modeling each other but if you've got a number of indicators that are confirming that trade it improves the probabilities of that trade and I like to improve my probabilities by using my key setups such as full candles or reversal candles so when I'm trading pivots I want to make sure that I've got what I call a full candle or, rever or reversal candles that is that are pointing in my trade direction of course we use the t1 plot for that and uh, for traders that have got the trade my trade uh, trade station indicators or for others you know exactly how the t1 plots and why it plots that will give you an advantage I love divergence 
using either the T19 or the T89 when I hit a pivot if you've hit a pivot and you've got divergence that's that's a, a trade you're going to take every day of the week another thing that you'll see is angulation now angulation goes hand in hand with divergence and in my course of course you you learn all about this but angulation dramatically improves the chances of that trade you have the zero lag confirm if you don't have a zero lag of course you're using the hull moving average so that rolling over so you can see here I'm looking for a number of things to help confirm the pivot bounce so what I'm looking for is a breakthrough a pullback and then that for the trend to continue so what I'm now going to do is go across to some charts and let's have a look at some live on the screen okay so what we're looking at here traders is the NQ one of my favorite markets the 133 tick bar now irrespective of the market you trade it works as I mentioned earlier on all time frames whether you're trading time volume bars uh, tick uh, Renko range it works on all because the calculation on pivots has nothing to do with price or the current price action and you can see here that let me just go here that if we go right to the uh, the end of today you know, today's by the way it's uh, Thursday the 16th down under here in Australia we see the market closes here and has reopened at 8 a.m. and you can see here the pivot which is this dotted line here is already plotted we've already had a minor pivot bounce but let me go back to my trading from today and we can see here and let me walk you through some of these pivot bounces now remember earlier I mentioned to you about time zones so what I'm using in this particular one I want to show you some trades and I'm going to swap it over I'm using the exchange uh, open high low and close now this particular uh, pivot is, is a mid pivot it means it's in between two major pivots is that this is automatically calculated and plotted on my screen using uh, an add-on that I've purchased now TradeStation has its own floor pivots in it uh, it just doesn't plot the midpoints but we can see here we've come down we've had an 89 bounce here we've gone up and this is where I refer quite often we're about to hit a pivot now normally speaking I work on my local time zone pivots which I'll show you in a moment so we've gone up we've had a bounce we've hit the pivot we've then got had a shorting opportunity now notice here on our platinums falling away so this basically I've got even though it's a great divergence but I've got some divergence here pointing out that we're very very good chance that we're going to fall away to the short side which is exactly what's happened so we fell away we had basically then uh, really a t89 uh, we've gone up here we've punched through the, the the key pivot you can see just there okay so this is um, uh, 835 exchange time and you can see here we've punched through the pivot and we've fallen away I'm not going to go through these other other trades we had here which is some great trades last night by the way you can see here again we've punched through the pivot we've gone straight up we've um, had some beautiful divergence but we're through the pivot we've come down and look what happens you can see here the dotted line is my pivot we've come down and we've bounced off that pivot again this is also an 89 EMA bounce and for for my students you know it's one of our favorite trade setups we also close above the 34 and my zero lag is turned so these are a great trades uh, to take it's also what I call wave one it's the first major trade a major pullback we've had in this trend so let's just move along a little here and we can see we've, we go up where's my next pivot now let me just show you this here I'm just going to pull this down so my next pivot was not up till here now what you'll see happen time and time again price will trade from one pivot to another and then bounce and then maybe go through it so for long-term profit targets you can have it from pivot to pivot now what you want to do is because this one as an example turned around and fell away you may have a trailing stop 
that is to trail your stop behind you if it doesn't go from one pivot so you don't give all your profits back but one could argue once you got up above here you had your stop here it's then become and you lift your stop up becomes what we call a free trade you've got no risk and when it does travel from one pivot to another it becomes very very profitable anyway I cover that in another video so we can see here we've rolled over we had uh, um, a lovely t10 up here traders actually we had a, a stop t10 and then we had a, a we got all our money back and a whole lot more on this one but then we come down and we had a pivot bounce now see we've come down we've got divergence which is fantastic I've got t1 I've got my zero lag okay we would have would have already been in on this pivot bounce now what a lot of traders will do they will put in a buy limit order so they come down and they're automatically what we call stopped into the trade they're into the trade when it comes when they come down here I'm not in till up here so yes I know I'm giving away a, a few points here a few ticks by waiting but I prefer to do that it's just my former trading and then down here we had a beautiful t10 trade as well but the point here is you can come down and you can see how we have respected that pivot to the short side and then we've bounced up we go back up again let me see where that upper pivot and you can see we didn't go right up and, and touch it and then we rolled over and what happened then then we come down and look at this here we had three pivot bounces in a row bang up to the 200 and up to our 89 we had a nice bounce uh, trade here then we bounced again off the pivot again now traders and this is for uh, particularly those that don't have my training course is that we what we call regularly front run that is you'll find as we've seen here re, uh, a strong resistance at these levels so if we're in a trade we'll take some profit off at these levels because you go up and you bounce off these and you can see it this is what exactly what's happened a couple of times here so you've gone in you've um, had a, a really nice um, uh, trade here a bounce off the 89 this is one of our highly accurate trades we've come down we've bounced off a pivot again we've gone up bounce come down follow through and bang away we go then finally uh, we had a bounce again now further along you can see here we then come down we test it here and for my students that are watching this you can see here we then had a t2 but the mark the, the comment I wrote up here uh, as we were trading was it uh, was right on the pivot you want to be tr very cautious when you're trading up against the pivot and there's something I want to show you here on that which I think I wrote in further along where you get these strong pivots like you've got a, and there's an extra black line there I'll explain in a moment so you can see here we've got our 34 we've got our 89 yes the 200 still on a downtrend but notice how our channel notice how it's all basically horizontal and traveling along a pivot this is where you've got to be very very cautious with the trading is that this is where you can get chopped up really badly now we already had it we had a fantastic day today or last night with our trading uh, so with this when you're up like that you may give away one trade and say okay I got stopped out of that what's the market going to be doing I don't know let's just sit and wait for a new breakout so once again where you've got everything going sideways this is what I call chop city you have to be very very careful with the trading now you can see here you hovered around this pivot before you went away again now what I want to show you is this because this really comes down to the time zone that you have for an example ninja trader you can adjust the time zones uh, and this is where you need to go on and and to really test and play with the different time zones so let's have a look at this here so see down here on my particular program a trade station I've got here exchange or I can get local with ninja trader you can adjust the time actually if I remember correctly uh, central time you can put different time zones in so I've just put a black line here just to show you um, let me just close this for a moment oops I've already clicked on that sorry traders let me just go along here a little now 
I just wanted to show here that this is the exchange pivot now see I've put an extra black line here let me go back and change this sorry if I'm mucking you around here a little bit now let's go to my local time okay in my country and you'll see it projected down here at the bottom because what this does it changes the pivots let's now go here and have a look at this now this danger zone notice how that black line that was this pivot so if I see that time see that there so with the time zone it changes where your pivots plot now I don't fully understand why this is and I, I can't take give you the answer for this but I usually use my local time zone pivots because I find them successful as an example here if I remove that there we can see here that using um, our local time zones I still get lots of bounces lots of support lots of resistance on my local time zone pivots as well so they're out a little bit compared to what I had so long story here <laughs> I want you to go and test your pivots on different time zones plot them and uh, just make sure that they plot okay etc and that you've got them right now let's go across and have a look at the euro dollar now this is the, uh, the chart we're looking at here right now uh, this is current as of the uh, 16th of the uh, 7 16th uh, so we're in July 2015 now the yellow line I've got here is a weekly pivot so you can see here we've punched through a pivot here we've gone up and this is uh, what I want to show you here remember earlier I like to look for a pullback so we can see here and hopefully there's not too much on the screen actually what I'm going to do I'm just going to disable my channel so see here we punch through a pivot we go through I wait for the pullback then I enter the short and you can see we bounce off that pivot beautifully now we can see here by my 200 the 89 and the 34 we've got a definite downtrend here so a lot quite often you can put an order in here to either buy or even to sell get you in a bit earlier but I like to wait because quite often you'll see a punch through and you get these pullbacks now down here we you can see uh, you've come down you've hit resistance or support I should say on your weekly pivot then we go up but then the trend continues so still follow the trend and so still I should say respect the trend so you'll quite often see this where you'll get a lot of pivot bounces now another thing to be careful of too is that in this particular uh, case I've got history showing that is you'll see here that I've got this is uh, today's pivots I've got yesterday's pivots on there so on my particular program I can actually have pivots going back for months back as much history as I load it's an option I have it also can really draw on your CPU remember the more indicators you've got open uh, and this varies from charting package to charting package the more indicators you have open it can really in a fast moving market it can actually choke your system so just have open what you really need to have open now for illustration purposes I've got the pivots open here now see this here so I wanted to illustrate look how we've gone down we've been bouncing around these pivots and if you're wondering what on earth is happening here why isn't the market moving or why is it consolidating you can see here it's on a weekly pivot and this is also called a chop zone because you can be badly injured on these that is your trading losses can really mount up now from a technical point of view we had a lovely little double bottom we've got fantastic divergence here and we've got a t10 now this is a five range which means if you're trading a standard contract here each one of these candles is worth uh, $50 so there's still some great trades there but you can see it's giving some really strong support there we've gone up we hit the uh, the pivot we bounce around come down and there's some other things happening here we've also got the 200 now let's go along here and we can see we've bounced around this pivot not a great example but you can see we're hanging around the pivot areas what I'm now going to do I'm going to pull up the 
ES. Let's have a look at the ES. And this is actually, this is the 144 ES for today's action. So let's have a look at this. Now, for our European friends, this is of course very early in the morning for you, but for um, my North American friends, um, if you're on the, uh, of course, from New York to LA, etc., uh, you've got home from work, you want to do some trading after work. Well, there's some great opportunities trading the aftermarket. So what I've got here is the ES144 tick. Now during the day, uh, during your main market hours, uh, this is far too fast to trade. For me it is anyway, for most traders. But after the market closes, you get home uh, from work, two or three in the afternoon in LA or New York later in the day, the 144 gives you some great trading opportunities. Now you can see here that I've gone up and we've hit a pivot and you see that there you can see the pivot there and see this bounce we've come down and we've hit another pivot so you can see as a tool for support resistance it's absolutely invaluable now sorry I'm just going to go back here I just want to check what's my time zone here now I'm working on the local time zone okay let's have a look uh, whoops I just clicked on this again what I just want to do is show you something and and the reason I keep coming back to this this is really important that you test this so what I'm now going to do is to go and change this back to exchange time zone okay and this particular case we can see up here if I remove that exchange it doesn't give me an upper pivot now it agrees with my uh, uh, lower pivot I've got here and sorry traders I'm just going to fix this up so we've got this out of the way let's have a look okay so you can see the difference in these pivot levels and this is how important that you get your timing right on your charting package with your floor pivots okay you can see the effect now so locally uh, uh, getting back to my local time I'm much better having and you can see and I find it's very very accurate trading my local time my pivots work really well with this particular program so let's now have a look at maybe another market just one moment okay so what I've pulled up here is just the NQ the NASDAQ 89 tick and you can see here as the market closed we come down we hit the pivot this is uh, just to confirm here I've got on here my local time zone and you can see the pivot was actually up higher up above here but we've come down we get down a little bit when the market reopened we've bounced we've gone up so traders uh, I've covered a lot of information uh, in this and I hope I haven't confused you too much because trading pivots there is a little bit of a science to it remember if you're above the primary pivot the PP or the main floor pivot quite often you've got a long bias if you're under it you've got a short bias um, in choppy markets consolidation markets or, or range bound you'll bounce in between you'll see yourself quite often bouncing from one pivot to another I like to as I mentioned in in, in just closing this video I like to uh, use other indicators to help confirm the trade I still believe very very much in following the overall trend as an example here we can see my 89 my 200 or what all pointing to the long side so I want to really obey that but where I get angulation that is prices moved right away from my MA's and of course if you're a student of mine you know what angulation is etc and you're hitting a pivot that really enhances or improves the chance of a successful trade <music>